you welcome back to my channel so today i just want to talk a little bit about the beads um this is episode two of uh, jewelry basics um so i'm just showing you different sizes of beads like in comparison um when i first started it was hard for me like i didn't know a four millimeter bead was as small as they are so i I don't have four millimeter down here, but these tiny ones are four millimeter beads. Actually, I do have. No, these are six millimeter. So, like, if I compare the two, you can see the difference. Four and six millimeter here. So, these are six millimeter. There is a tool that you can use to measure out your beads. I just don't have it. These are eight millimeter beads. So I'm putting them right next to each other. You can tell that these are smaller than these are. And then, so you can see The 10 millimeter beads are bigger. These are all 10 right here. And then I'm trying to put them side by side because you can kind of tell better by putting them side by side. Then I have uh, these flower ones here. Um, these are the lamp work beads. These are really cute but expensive because they're handmade. So, I leave them there side by side so you can take a look. The difference in sizes as they start going up. And then I have the, these ones here, cause I don't actually, so these are 12 millimeter. And these are 14, the heart ones I have in store. I mean, all this is in store, but these ones are 14 millimeter beads. So, kind of a big jump, right? 10, 12, 14. So, then I jump from, because that's what I have, 14 to 20 millimeters. So, you put them side by side there. You know, it's also a big jump. The, that's because it goes from 14 to 20 millimeter. So, another, um, just wanted to show you real quick. If you have these, these are 6 millimeter. These two here. These two are 8 millimeter, and these two are 10 millimeter beads. So, I like how it gives you a little bit of variety in size. On the, these are the, this is the one from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be doing something with that soon. You know, I just have to make time. So, one other thing is the size of the hole in the beads. Like these ones, all of these beads are pretty normal size. I mean, this one's a little bigger. So, sorry, I was reading something. So, you got some that have bigger holes than others. Like these right here. That's another thing you have to think about when you're buying the beads. Um, because, for example, I have these Christmas ones that I haven't put out yet. But because I'm making strands out of them. But this has a really big bead. And if you use a... Let's take a look real quick. So, this is a head pin, right? And if I use a head pin, it's it's actually gonna go right through it. So let me show you again. So it's just going right through it. You would need like a a bead cap or a bead before it in order to put this something like this in. But um, if you use an eye pin, it may or may not work without it. 
so it did work for this one and it's not like it, it holds pretty well so bigger beads you can use eye pins and for the most part it will stay but if you try to use a head pin you would need another bead or some kind of uh, spacer bead in order for you to use it so that's really you know what I have to say if you have any questions let me know I also am going to add like a size chart um, I'll probably look for it and let you know and just add the link to it to someone who has a free size chart of beads that way you can see the difference of sizes in the beads on a you know on a sheet of paper um, so until next time thank you so much for watching bye